Welcome! Today we are going to learn how to measure elapsed time. Before we begin, let's review some important vocabulary. Elapsed time is the amount of time that passes from the start of an activity to the end. A minute is a unit used to measure time. One minute equals 60 seconds. An hour is another unit used to measure time. One hour equals 60 minutes. To measure elapsed time, we are going to use a number line. Our number lines for elapsed time will count by intervals of one hour, 10 minutes, and one minute. Hours are a long amount of time so their spaces on the number line will be the biggest. When an hour passes by, we will draw and label a big pointy jump and call that a mountain. 10 minutes is shorter than an hour, so this jump will take up less space on the number line. When 10 minutes pass by, we will draw a medium-sized rounded jump and call it a hill. One minute is the shortest amount of time we will use on our number line. When one minute passes by, we will draw a small rounded jump and call it a rock. Let's practice finding elapsed time with this story problem. Logan started an art project at 3.10 p.m. He worked for one hour and 24 minutes. What time did he finish working? First, make a number line and label the beginning time on the left side. Always try to add the largest number first. Logan worked for one hour, so I will make and label one hour mountain. 310 plus one hour equals 410. Next, I will add groups of 10 minutes. Logan also worked for 24 minutes, so I will make two 10 minute hills. 410 plus 10 minutes equals 420, and 420 plus another 10 minutes equals 430. Now it is time to add the one minute rocks. Since these are so tiny, I will only record the new time at the end. 430 plus four minutes equals 434. Logan finished working at 434. In this video, we learned how to measure elapsed time. Thanks for watching.